<laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, and uh, last is receiving one of the best cameras. Uh, wow. Jamaican uncle here tells me it takes 360. Yes, 360. Yes, it can rotate 360. 360. It can come up to here, yeah. to the other That's side, the going down, yeah. going yeah. up. Anyway, we'll give you a charge, actually. Yeah. Do you know this camera, which I'm going to open it. Yeah. Yeah. And he said we can only have two, one here and one in the middle. Mm -hmm. So, but now I'm seeing here. Yeah. Yes. So when it's me, I received two actually. Two. If you have anything to say, no, this was over here. Yes, um, as we have. Yeah, man. I've been watching you guys, you know, and I see that you guys want a lot of camera. Imagine. I could carry more, but I, I, I didn't have the space. Like, no. yeah. And remember the condition that I gave you? Yeah, I remember them very well. Can you uh, we are it's getting free in a email in a the the security, security camera over here. Yes, bro. <laughs> and the Facebook. The Facebook. <laughs> Think about this visitors do come to a village and bring us gifts a lot of gifts and we appreciate that but here is one visitor called jamaican uncle who comes with a specific type of gifts cameras a lot of cameras from recording cameras digital cameras transmitting cameras he has invested in this type of thing called cameras to the village so my biggest question is what is the mission behind the cameras? Well, leave alone the GoPros that we see. This is a GoPro, just a digital camera. Uh, as no, maybe you cannot transmit, you cannot monitor what is re being recorded. But what about the CCTVs? From the CCTV cameras that are installed in Mara's villa that were said to be purchased by the same Jamaican uncle. The CCTV that were gifted to Nasto. The CCTV camera that was given to Mayugno. The CCTV that was given to Burundian Traveller and the likes and uh, those others. I want you to remember that these other CCTV cameras, forgetting about the, the, the GoPros, these CCTV cameras are digital cameras that are capable of transmitting a footage wirelessly on internet. And you can monitor what's going on in that place of surveillance from millions of miles away on your mobile device or maybe on your computer as long as they are connected to to the internet so here's something that has been disturbing me so much there's this uh, there's this uh, biggest rise in uh, filming like filming in the village and looks like from this filming is where we get a lot, a lot of uh, cases. Uh, yesterday when I was making an episode, I hinted about something that I overheard that uh, those minors that, oh, okay, those cases involving minors getting pregnant, that the acts, those acts were being filmed. So where are those footage taken to? Who is buying or maybe distributing those videos so when the cctv were being installed at the villa who knows where the footage are being taken to okay for example right now there's nobody let's start from here there's nobody uh maybe maro and his wife are not in the villa right and uh Whatever is happening there, I'm sure it's being recorded on cameras. And I'm sure if the CCTV were there in those rooms, because maybe I haven't seen them, maybe there are 10 of them. If they are installed there, I'm sure the footage are being lifted or maybe transmitted or maybe stored somewhere. So who reviews them? Don't you all think that there's a need for reviewing those footages? If this case is being handled, then the footage from those cameras should be reviewed. Because I'm very sure that you miss something that can give you a lead. Remember when the boys, uh, the likes of uh, Gintu and Moges were talking about uh, Gitiriba shipping or maybe bringing and sneaking in girls to the rooms. And if there were cameras, I'm sure the footage are there. In the CCTV or maybe in the VAP rooms, if there were cameras, even in the corridors, you can miss a footage of those 
uh, cases of girls sneak into the room. So if it's true that the cameras are installed, then where are the footage being shipped to? I remember one day when Maro was making a video and he said, now that uh, he's planning to marry Rocio, there are videos in his, I uh, think, Patreon or something, Rumble or Patreon channel that he need to delete because if Rocio sees them, she's going to be so mad or maybe she won't be cool with them. What type of videos that Maro need to delete before Rocio is seeing them because as far as I know, Maro has uh, a bunch of ugly videos in his channel up to this moment that he is in Argentina with the in-laws. The, the videos that Maro is kissing random girls on the streets, like doing all those that I cannot even mention them, unspeakable stuff on the streets. But the, the videos are still there. If Rocio is cool with those videos, how, how bad are those videos that he wants to delete? Rocio not to see them. You remember the, the biggest, the, the, the popular video of Mara with more than 11 million views on his channel that he was filming the raw footage of Colombia, I don't know, girls doing their things at night? Is still there? Wow. Let's come back to this CCTV stuff. Uh, I want you all to understand that this type of cameras that Jamaican uncle was distributing to Maro and his boys, these are cameras that are capable of transmitting footage to anywhere in the world. You can monitor your house or whatever, your compound, wherever you install the cameras. From the comfort of your house, on your mobile phone, on your PC or maybe laptop, anywhere. So if those cameras are installed on those homes, on those, uh, in, for example, in Mayugno, uh, Nasto, Burundian Traveler, and in the Ville of Course, and those cameras, when they were brought, nobody ran a, a, a security check to see if they have been synchronized with any device before. You just be given a camera and told this is capable of seeing a thief and monitoring and maybe doing these motion sensors and everything. And you can connect it to, 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 to your house. You can see everything. Who took an, a, a step to monitor if those cameras were synchronized with a device that can transmit a footage? And if, for example, let me assume that those cameras were initially synchronized with a device that can de transmit the footage. What have they co collected so far? Whoever, maybe whoever is collecting the footage, what do they have right now? I had, uh, I had uh, another case of um, the same footage or maybe videos being sold to somewhere. And actually, who was that? Was it Finding Ian who was accused of filming Maro and Rocio in the, in, the, in the compound without their consent, and he was a kind of selling the footage to some, some people. I don't know, they, they said it was lazy gang, but I, I doubt to some other pa people, maybe somewhere. This issue of footage and recording now, maybe videos being sold, is my biggest concern. So if it's true that this business of selling footage, selling videos, from that village is true. If this business of selling footage is true, then I think those dark webs, those dark sites, have a bunch of village footage. Very ugly of them, trust you me. Because the mission of bringing the cameras, both uh, these GoPros that you cannot maybe transmit the footage, the GoPro, I feel, from my own uh, thinking, I feel like uh, they're increasing a range of surveillance to the village because definitely after recording a video, you will post it. So you run to the, uh, for example, the, the, the girls will run to the river to go and take those uh, river bathing videos, then upload. So the perpetrators will be sitting there and selecting, yeah, I need that one, I need this one, I need this one. How am I gonna get that one? I've seen another lady taking a, a shower there. I kinda like it. How am I going to get that? So I feel like these cameras, they're a good thing for like, uh, people to film and uh, uh, 
build their YouTube channel. But on the other way around, I feel like they have a mission. Why camera? For example, gifting someone like a... But you could not have a camera, definitely. But Jamaican uncle had to give him another one. Same to Pablo. Right? Robbie girl. Tindy. That college boy. Hmm. So, when we have a lot of people recording from all sides of the village, we'll kind of be uh, like a surveilling, surveilling that village from the comfort of our houses using YouTube. Because, hey, after you film your house, you show us your bedroom, you show us your, your wife, your kids, your daughters, everyone. You'll post that on, the, on your channel. And the whoever, if that is true that this has a mission, whoever is intending to see whatever they want to see, they will be using your videos to look at and uh, check and kind of monitor who they want to see. What is your next move? Hey guys, uh, today I have done that. Tomorrow I will be leaving. Today I will be doing this. Tomorrow I will be doing this. All right. So my next move is this. My, this is what I want to do. So they kind of encourage everyone to pour their all privacy on this platform or whatever. If not online that I can monitor you through that camera that is transmitting the footage to my computer, I can kind of use your own channel to see what you're doing. To see what you have, who you have in your home. That's what I've been thinking about. That's what I've been thinking about. Uh, it's been disturbing because uh, recently I've been seeing this guy called Gake and uh, the team, Ayamboke, I think it's Boke, uh, that lady whose channel was demonetized for posting a lot of uh, ugly videos. They are, they are now coming up with a, um, like a, a series, like a movie. They are shooting a video. And those videos, most of them, you can see, they are cultural some stuff, but the dress code, it's exactly what the perpetrators want to look at. Exactly. So I've been feeling this increased uh, urge of filming in the name of videos, uh, in the name of movies, series, in the name of whatever. Could it be? Could it be like a source of surveillance to the village? And this footage could be used elsewhere. For example, if, us, if, we, if we go back to the villa and ask ourselves if the footage or maybe if the videos and footage from those cameras are real and the camera has been captured. Because I saw another video, Mara saying they caught a thief stealing from the CCTV. So meaning that the cameras are working, right? Whatever happened in the party, I'm sure everything is in on cameras, right? Wow, if it's true, then whoever is investigating whatever is happening in the village, then he should look into those footage. But if they find that the footage are not there, or maybe the camera weren't working, be sure that the footage has been erased. So if Nasto took that camera to his home and he installed and connected to the Wi-Fi and everything, right now, I'm sure that he's being surveilled or maybe he's being watched <laughs> because I'm sure nobody was that keen enough to sit down and run a security check on that camera to see if it has been synchronized with another device. Because if I give you a camera that you can insert a, 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 an SD drive that you can record and sometimes take a, an SD drive and export that footage or maybe that, uh, yeah, that footage to another device, maybe you leave it there, you know? And if it's connected to a device, for example, uh, you know you can connect it to multiple devices, your mobile phone, your, your computer, your everything, so you, that you can check, uh, you can be checking what's happening. So now imagine you having a camera in your house, maybe in your living room, and someone is watching over you somewhere. You know, that is wild. That's crazy. You cannot control what you do with your wife, your, your husband in your house, in your own house, without having a knowledge that you've been watched. So definitely you'll be free. And that those cameras have night vision, meaning they can record even in darkness. When you turn off the lights, they go dark, uh, night vision. They can still get those uh, footage on those blue 
uh, it's it's kind of a blue blue light kind of thing that you if you run some operation this is how you can bring a real image out of that even in darkness but now we are we are celebrating hey we we've received a camera this camera is capable of uh, talking to a thief telling him to come here i'm recording this camera is capable of turning 360 and watching and zooming and doing this well but where were those cameras bought from were they initially synchronized with another david why cameras? I mean, this is my biggest question that is disturbing me. Why just cameras? Well, it could be if it was entirely on GoPro cameras, the filming cameras, I would say, wow, this is for YouTube purely. But what would you give to someone like Brundian and Traveler a camera while they, they, at that moment he, has a, he, he, he hadn't completed his building at um, Agis? So whoever is uh, intending to build around there, whoever is intending to build around Marwas, you came there, you bought a land there, um, and you bought, you, you're building a house, we should be monitoring you and knowing what you do, what you're planning. Remember, those cameras can be used as hearing devices. Do you know what hearing devices are? Anything that has a, 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 a microphone, like a microphone, that microphone can be hacked as a listening device. For example, the CCTV cameras are capable of recording both the, the, the video and the audio, so the audio visual. So if not transmitting the video itself, then they can transmit the audio. Can be listening to you while you're sitting there talking to your, to your people in the house. We're listening to you. <laughs> Whoever thought up, who actually thought about that? Or maybe I'm overthinking. Oh yeah, I know that. But it's so disturbing, very much, that Jamaican uncle has to buy a, a CCTV camera, a wirelessly, uh, remotely monitored camera to Brundian Traveler, to Mayugno, to Nasto, and some tomorrow. And he keep coming back to the village, maybe to see where their progress is. I know I could be judging him wrongly, I stand to be corrected, but isn't it concerning that these cameras are distributed to these people? Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Based on the cases that are happening right now, um, based on these cases that are happening right now, if it's true, if it's very true, that those perpetrators were recording those videos, having fun, in quotes, fun with those minors, then I'm convinced that even those cameras are being used to monitor and to just watch over those people who receive the gift, the camera. I mean, guy, if you have the, that camera in your house and it's working, please get a technician and run a security check. See how many devices have been synchronized to that camera. Oh, I'm not selling you fear or something, but I just want you to be uh, careful enough because we've had these cases. Come on, it's not a strange thing. We have these cases that someone could be watching over you for so long. Because maybe you're in a house, you go from the shower, you're coming from the living room, uh, just yourself, nobody's in the house, maybe you locked. You could do whatever you want to do there. And you know what I mean? Like you can do anything you want to do in your house. It's your house. You don't have to worry about nobody watching. You're in your home. The only way to get into your home and know what you're doing is through the camera. So I give you the camera, which is uh, wirelessly transmitting the footage to me. I can sit in my house and watch over you. Or maybe go and ask Mara, what kind of videos does he want to delete from his channel before Rocio sees them? <laughs> or maybe go back and see that video that he was filming, the raw, the raw video or raw files, Colombia, I don't know, Colombia 00 something, that video. Go check it. Mm. 
I'm saying there is a need to go and sanitize or maybe scrutinize and go through all those footages and see what's happening there. Or maybe the security checks need to be run through all those cameras. If they are being installed, then you guys need to be careful. I mean, seriously, you all need to be careful. If those cameras are really working and connected to the internet, please run a security check. And next time I see another CCTV camera being gifted to someone, I'll raise a very big question to myself. If it was entirely on GoPros that maybe are given to us with a lot of condition, don't talk about whoever don't talk. And I'm feeling that the reason why uh, Jamaican uncle is giving these kind of conditions to these boys, don't, don't, don't go against Maro, is because the only way, the only way to get you trapped is to make you, I mean, if to keep you under this, uh, under this monitored territory, like uh, if you have to speak good about this guy, Colmaro, then you'll have to, like, uh, being around them and everything, do what they want, yeah, and uh, kind of that. So we will be, like, uh, you'll be automatically associated with them. So anything you'll do is what we want. Even the videos that you'll be recording, you'll be show, showing your houses, your people, your everything, recording and posting that. But so, we can be able to see through your houses, through your rooms, to everywhere. Because apparently, everyone who is filming the same content will show you their families, will show you the, all their privacy, will give you all their moves. Today, I'm gonna do this. Tomorrow, I'll be doing this big surprise from wherever, I have a bed, I have a new mattress, I have a whatever, I have a new something in the kitchen, oh my mama do this, I surprise to my daddy like this, oh I have bought some new pants, I have whatever, like it's everything on camera. Wow, it's so concerning, <laughs> it's so concerning, I know, it's crazy but it's really something to really think about. But it was a random thought, though I feel like those footage really, really, on a very serious note, those footage should be scrutinized, should be checked, like seriously, for real. Well, with that being said, I'm going to pause here and think about something else on these cameras, for real. Guys, my name is JT. This is JT Podcast. This has been short. Yes, I know. Uh, I was thinking out loud. And if you have a different opinion, let me know what you think about all that. Let me know your opinion in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I'm going to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.